about an eight-hour flight from L.A. The very name Tahiti has become synonymous with blue lagoons and beautiful beaches, the sound of drums, coconut palms, happy natives, and tribal music. Tahiti is a part of French Polynesia, a French overseas territory with a French high commissioner in residence and a locally elected territorial assembly. The largest island in the group is Tahiti, and it's the hub of the activity in French Polynesia. The legendary port city of Papiete is a thriving marketplace. Its narrow streets swarm with people, small cars, scooters, and the trucks. Outside the bustle of Papiete, you'll find lush countryside with towering mountains, plunging valleys, and catapulting waterfalls. This ringed with black sand beaches and deep blue lagoons creates a setting rich to explore. For the sports-minded, there's championship golf, tennis, and all the water sports, including sports fishing. From Tahiti, the island of Morea is visible about 12 miles away. The island is noted for its beautiful scenery, its simple quality of life. There's a 70 minute crossing by boat or a 10 minute flight. Today we'll visit Tahiti. Bob Lord's guest is singer Nicolette Larson. Let's go to the South Pacific and Tahiti. You know, Nicolette, they say here in Papaete, Tahiti, that on a clear day you can see forever. On a clear day, you probably can see forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not exactly a clear day today. I can look over here in the mountains, and I can see all kinds of rain clouds. And they get about 300 inches of rain over there in the mountains, as opposed to about 80 or 90 right here. But it is kind of a rainy season here. I predict, however, with our good luck, that we may have a very beautiful day tomorrow after that passes overnight. The last time you came to an exotic place to go fishing, we took you to a non-exotic place. You remember? I remember that well, Bobby. <laughs> we went to a mud hole, as I recall. We won't in talk Hawaii. about that. We won't talk <laughs> about that anymore, okay? And I We want did good in that mud hole. That was nice. We did. My first bass fishing. Yes, expedition. we did. But that island right over there will produce a few fish, maybe not large ones, but a few fish, and a great day of sightseeing, a spectacular lunch, probably, and just in general, a very nice time for Nicolette uh, and Bob. We'll have a good time. Well, this won't be bass then this time. No, no, we're going saltwater fishing tomorrow and, uh, and sightseeing and maybe a little swimming here and there. Uh-huh, well, I, I can deal with that, I think. Oh, I'll tell you, this is a lovely spot. It, it is. I have heard so much about the paradise of Tahiti that I'm, I'm really glad to be here. And Does it live up to your expectations? It's glorious. It's glorious. The drive around the island and the papaya trees and the coconut and the flowers. It's black black uh, sand beaches. And a black sand beach. The first time I've ever seen a black sand beach. Nicolette, as you look down the terrace of this beautiful oh. garden area, you can see the beach. Yeah, and all of these, those are all plumeria, I believe. All of those uh, and yellow flowers. And lots of bougainvillea, palm trees. It truly is a paradise. I've seen very few weeds here. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're all pretty weeds, yeah, if there are any. Say. Look at that. <laughs> it's ocean. kind of a reef there, right? A little mm -hmm. drop off there. Lots of reefs around this island. I think, I think the entire island is surrounded, actually, by reefs. I'll nope. have to scoot out between them. Well, I'll tell you what, tomorrow morning we're going to take a close look at all of it. All right, well, I'm there. All right, lady. I'm a little bit at a loss over here. I can speak a little Spanish, but the main language here is... Oh, oh is this the boat? Oh, hey. Oh, very nice. That's nice. That's very nice. And this all is right. your arm, right? 
Oh, this must be Gerald. How do you do? Bonjour. 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 Okay. Okay, let me jump on here. Here goes the girl. Yep, okay. There you go. All right, ladies. Very good. Okay, we cast off now and we leave. Did I understand that, that you speak a little French? Je parle un peu de français. Oh, well, we may be You're going to be relying on me. I, I want you to take care of us today, okay? So, what's this about Valley High? I heard we were going I, to Valley High. I think so. Uh, you know, as I told you, I don't speak much French, but I think we're going to fish around Valley High. Oh, well, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. This, I'm is, ready. this is going to be our biggest adventure, Bobby. I guess. Nicolette, with a place like this, a setting like Tahiti, Valley High is just around the corner where we're going to be fishing. A day like today, does it matter whether the fish bite or not? I don't think it matters at all. It, it, this is truly paradise. This is this is God's half acre right here. I'll right tell here. you. Not very big, but there's an awful lot of quality here. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's, it's really. This, is, this, this will be a fun day. I'm looking forward to it. Always a fun day, but some are better than others. I think this is going to be one of the best. I feel fish coming on. I feel good time, good company. And, uh, Go for it again. This is a far cry from the, from the cane field in Hawaii, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for taking you bass fishing in Hawaii the last time. No, but, it was fun. Well, you, we wanted to do something different there. You wanted to teach me how not to kill bait, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't succeed, though, did I? <laughs> There's a lot of... What were they that I killed? Oh, they were... The, the little ones. They were little swimming minnows. Minnows. Yeah, minnow killer. Yeah, the minnow I'm killer. I'm Nicola Larson, the minnow killer. <laughs> <laughs> we won't do that today. Well, today we're not going to do that. We're not going to kill any bait at all. We're going... We're going to already have some bait cut up, and we're going to bottom fish a little bit today. Ah. Understand there's some pretty good size ones down there. Just waiting, calling your name. Waiting for us. Dolly, Dolly. Nicholas, first fish. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so, uh, Bobby, what do you know about the, the native style of fishing right here? Well, I know a little bit about it. I know that they didn't have boats like this. <laughs> they had boats, uh, dugouts, with outriggers on them so that they could remain stable in the ocean. And they fished with hand lines and cut bait and whatever they, whatever bait they could gather up. But they caught an awful lot of fish here, just about like we're going to do, uh, except that our equipment is a little more advanced. Than we that. got a little advantage on them. Right? I would say, I would say. And I imagine they have uh, uh, several of the species that we have in the United States, all, most all of them edible. And we'll sample a little bit of that tonight. Oh. Would you like that? Oh, I, I would really like that. That'll be fun. Now look at the water. What a blue, color of blue that is. Hey, what was that? Wow, oh, but hey, it looked like something jumped, didn't it? Yeah, it was either a, a very, small porpoise or a great big flying fish. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, these waters are so blue and oh, so iridescent. This is the place for it. I can see why people are attracted to this. Bob Hope is down here filming uh, one of his shows, uh, and he does that regularly. I understand that Marlon Brando did a, a movie down here. Well, he did the, uh, with the remake of Me and the Bounty here, What's and that? then decided to, he bought an island. Did he really? Think. Or I, I think they call it an atoll. I'm not sure of the difference. Was that an, an island an atoll? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't an island wasn't an atoll. Wasn't an island atoll. <laughs> oh. So yeah, he lives here. I think it's uh, Tiaroa that he lives on. Oh, really? But looking around, it's, it's not hard to figure out why he decided to uh, leave uh, the mainland and make this his home. You know, there's another famous man that loves this area lives near where I live, or has a home there, mm -hmm. James Mitchell. Oh, yeah. He yeah. wrote an awful lot about this, you know, as well, Hawaii and mm -hmm. all the other books that came from out of here. Yeah. And, uh, did you read Hawaii? Actually, actually, I did. I, uh, I, I, first time I went to Hawaii, I bought it and I sat on the beach 
And his, his explanations of the formation of the islands are so fascinating with, because all of these are volcanic islands and for thousands and thousands of years they built up to the ocean surface and then for thousands of years they built above the ocean surface and just the way he describes little seeds carried on the wind that maybe fell upon a random beach, I mean it's terribly romantic this description of it. And of course he gets quite extensively into um, the islands of uh, Tahiti and Bora Bora and the, there, there was a lot of uh, struggle between the king and the slaves here. I mean, and actually they went for freedom when they went to Hawaii because there was a lot of human sacrifice and things in those days. Oh, yeah. And so they wanted to get away from that and they sort of, I mean, at least this was in his book. And they sort of loaded up and set out like Columbus for another land. Where human sacrifice is concerned, I get to be a real chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad they don't do that. We might have to do something here today, huh? <laughs> we'll do fish sacrifices. Uh, we'll do some sacrifices on fish, but that's the extent of it, all Bait. right? Bait! <laughs> Bait, right. More honeymooners come here than any other place in the world, they say. Wow. They say. I'm going to keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these mountains. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They really are. I, you know, the uh, the uh, Hawaiian Islands, I, I believe the, the theory is that they were settled by the Tahitians. That's right. And uh, in their little boat that you were talking about, to have traveled a thousands of miles and landed on a little volcanic rock. Can uh, you imagine doing that in an outrigger that carried about 15 people? I can't, I can't imagine. In the, mo the months they must have spent on the water. Also going to New Zealand this way. Oh, they did the same thing? Yeah, yeah. That's wild. So, these are very ambitious people we're dealing with here. <laughs> beautiful people. Aren't they beautiful? They really are. Children. Yeah. Everybody's got a nice suntan and curly hair. And Can't good be... coffee. <laughs> and great coffee. <laughs> You know, the, the thing that, that thrilled me about this area is uh, one of the great weaknesses I have in the world is eating bread. And they bake it fresh every day, and oh. it is delightful. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah. This morning with real morning. butter and orange marmalade and hello, friends, 15 pounds. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to make a lot of people jealous out there, I, I think. guess. <laughs> it's a rough life. Right. Well, Lane is going to show me how to do this. Oh, okay. We're I'm going to tie it into a little scarf for me. Oh, is this one of these? Yeah. Oh, okay. Same thing. Well, we're going to do some tying here. All right. I'm anxiously awaiting <laughs> the outcome. Not bad. Not bad. There you go. Oh, ah. I see. See, it's tied right here, and you get tied right there. It looks there. easy, doesn't it's it? It's easy. It's simple. <laughs> Nothing to it. Why do you see what I do with this? Well, Bobby, you think if I tie this up like you and Lena, this is going to help me catch some fish? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> going to have some fun today. Yeah, you're right. You're oh. right. Fish really badly high. This is no other place. I can't believe it. it really bad. Gorgeous. No question in my mind about the the beauty of it. No. Uh, uh, well, where, where's where's the poles? Oh, I see you got the line. Oh, the poles, the poles. Well, right here is a little apparatus that we're going to use. One fishing line, one hook, one line, one sinker. <laughs> I want to hear about this. All you do is throw it in the water, and that's just about all there is to it. That's wow. Right here on this reef, huh? Mm -hmm. Good fishing here. See the rocks, don't you? Uh-huh. All those rocks are little homes for fish. We hope. <laughs> well, I will find that out. I couldn't think of a more beautiful home. I'll tell you. Look at those palm trees. This is it. We're dressed. We're ready for it. It's Tahitian fishing, huh? I guess. <laughs> All I like is my flowered shirt. <laughs> I do have to uh, confess something to you, though, Nicolette. Uh, I've done this kind of fishing recently uh, in Bon Air. <laughs> they don't fish with anything but hand lines. My gosh. And 
the guy that we were fishing with over there, the guide, said he caught, oops, had a little bite. The guide said that he caught a marlin on a rig like this, if you can believe I it. I can't. Oh, what happens to your hands when you have something that heavy on? Well... You get a lot of other people behind you. Oh, no. <laughs> That's when you find out how tough your hands really are. Oh, my okay. God. Maybe oh, we won't oh. catch a marlin Maybe. today. <laughs> <laughs> we try, though. Uh-huh. I just had a bite. Feel him. I feel him. Feel something on him? There he is. Uh, there he is. Yep. We got him. We got, got him. Got it? Yep. <laughs> Just as I told you. That's amazing. There's nothing to this. Mr. Black and White. We are hand fishing now. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's our first time for everything. That's right. You got it. Little pilot fish with a stripe down his side. I can't believe it. This is so native. You're just using your little well, hands. Well, this is, this, is, this is a typical way that the people catch fish here at uh, Tahiti. I can't believe it. This, I is, can't believe it. this is not an edible fish, however. It's kind of, <laughs> kind of slippery. But nice little pilot fish. Aww. Fun to catch. Look at that. Look at that. Look at right? that. Huh. Okay. Look at this suction thing right on top of that's his head. That's it. That's where they... Oh, that's the top of him? Uh-huh. And this oh, is... Oh, that is the bottom. He just comes right up and sucks onto a shark that's like it. this. That's it. He's on. And then when the shark eats and particles little fly tiny. down into his little mouth and... I can't believe it. I've seen them. I've seen pictures. I've never seen one, though. Well, we're going to let him. We're, we're going to let him live. Okay. Okay. That's a good idea. I'll hold on to the reel here. I feel like Mark Twain. <laughs> it's had to be the way they do it. You don't look like Mark Twain. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about this water? I've never hmm? seen anything like this in my life. I think it, it must be just. Uh, I mean, because we were in Hawaii last year, I don't think it was quite this crystal. I mean, from the air, you can. See oh, every rock. You can see every little stone. From here, yeah. you can see every little rock. This is very, very deep right here. I think it, we're, we're going to see this fish before we catch it, aren't we? When <laughs> we get one. I guess. Oh, what you is it? You got a hit. What is it? What is it? It is a fish. What else? Got to get him around it that. You, you, just sit where you are, and I'll get him from around the, around the pole here. Where is he now? Where's your line? Right here. Oh, you got him? Oh, there. There he is. Bobby, 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 look at this. Look. Ooh, isn't that a beautiful <gasps> fish? Oh, What my is that? God. I certainly don't know, but I that is I've never topical. seen a fish like that. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I'll tell you, we're in Tahiti. Bring him on in. Oh, look at this guy. I wish you oh. would. Oh, is that beautiful? Now tell me he that that is my a gown. beautiful fish. <laughs> tell me that. Have you ever seen this? Have you ever seen anything like this, Bobby? I have never seen a fish like that. <gasps> That's it, man. He jumped. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Nicolette, we can't have this. Do you realize <laughs> that this is a scientific experiment but out the, here that but we're... This won't be a fish story. <laughs> like, we saw it. We saw it. You saw it. You saw this fish. <laughs> I think that... That was pretty, though. I'd like to I'd like to see how many exotic species we can pull up today. We we've, we've gotten pilot fish and now we've gotten this Batiste. Batiste, which looks like kind of like a clownfish. It did, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because I, it's not not very good eating though. Oh, uh, really? So it's good. Well, okay. Well anyway. then we did the right thing. Yes. Yeah. The, the fish did the right thing, didn't he? Let's see about our bait and That's we'll get back in the water, fish. huh? Okay. Hey, 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 hey. And here it is. This I believe this might be a an edible fish. This is this is uh, uh, Gerard was telling me about this. It's called a rouge. A rouge. A rouge. That's red. Yeah, oh. I speak the French. You I know? see. <laughs> no, I blow is a, a Francaise. Uh, in Tennessee, they say red. All right, come here, buddy. Come here, 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 come here. All right. All right, and it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy, would you? There you go. Well, That's pretty good, really. I saw I saw little fires along the uh, along the bank when we were coming up. I guess there's some barbecues fired up here and there. Yeah, yeah this is this is an edible fish too. Throw lady. that one on tonight. I'm not going to throw this one away. I think I'm going to keep this one. I think that's an one. idea. It might be lunch. There it is. Come on. Oh, there he is. Oh, All right. I can't do it. I can't. Do it. Oh, come on. I have I've tried. Can. You can at least put this one in the pot. Huh? No, no, no. I can't. I can't. Okay, Captain. There you go. Let's see. We got one, two, three. Looks like. Yeah. <laughs> There's the beach right there. 
in lunchtime or dinner, whichever you prefer, or just beyond that. Just that, that little primitive kind of barbecue thing you were talking about, right? Just, uh, just kind of rubbing sticks together, you know, start a little fire on the beach. And... That fishing rod is as primitive as we get. <laughs> Do you see that restaurant right over there? They got surf and turf, prime rib, and you name it. Oh, I'm very <laughs> that. That's for me. Okay. Okay?